Okay, hello everybody. Um, welcome to my channel um, for saltwater reef tanks. Um, this is customer number one. Um, proud owner of this 72 gallon bullfront aquarium. Um, he's gonna go saltwater. He had uh, freshwater uh, here and there, but decided to jump the gun and do saltwater all the way. So, what we have here um, 72 gallon bullfronts made by uh, Aquion or All Glass. You guys can check the measurements on online. Um, basic setup of a saltwater reef tank you wanna have sand live sand, rocks, lighting, um, preferably a sump, and a protein skimmer. So looking at the bottom the bottom here, um, custom sump made, we have a 220 gallon protein skimmer made by Coral Life. Now just a little update, everybody who buys protein skimmers, you always want to double up or go as big as possible when you're getting a protein skimmer because the more bio load the fish you keep in your aquarium, um, the protein skimmer is going to pull out more junk and you'll be surprised how much junk this stuff pulls out. Um, the second chamber here, this is going to be all the carbon and all the chemicals we might put in little mesh bags. After that, water jumps into the refugium. Now this is where we're going to have different types of algae. Um, so this takes away from the algae from the display tank, putting it at the bottom so you don't allow any algae in the main display to grow and everything grows at the bottom. Uh, you can have a little bit of live rock down there, but right now we have a two and a half inch uh, deep sand bed. Um, within time, what's going to happen? You're going to see nitrates, phosphates, uh, ammonia, and everything's going to get stuck down there. And that's a good thing because you want the refugium to collect all the, the bad chemicals out of the system. The following, we have a Tunzi return pump. Um, it's a fantastic pump, very quiet, doesn't draw any heat at all. Rated at about 800 gallons per hour with a one inch outlet. Um, just going back to the tank, we have two holes that we made. One is for the drain, it's a 1.5 inch. Um, just in the future, I'm going to put a ball valve just to control the flow so there's no gurgling noise. And the other is a one inch hole for a lock line. So from the return, we're going to have two outlets. One is a, a top feed so we can actually adjust the flow wherever we want, switch it up every couple months. And uh, the second one is going to be stationary so it's going to stick to one area. Lighting what we have is by Aquatic Life. It's a T5 fixture. So it's about two bulbs that are roughly, I don't know if you guys can see this, there's two bulbs and they're white and a blue. The blue is a 10,000K, white is a 6,000K Kelvin. And what that does is uh, the blue allows the coral and algae to grow and also the corals. I'm um, down the road if we need to put more we might go LEDs but not too sure yet. Circulation we have a Corellia 720 gallon per hour pump. Um, so again 800 gallon per hour uh, return pump and then we have a 70, 720 gallon per hour flow pump which we can adjust from front to back. Uh, the back glass here we painted black so when we put the corals and the fishes uh, you get the best illumination for them. Um, setting up salt is reef crystals, one of the best salts out there. There's no problems with this if you want to grow corals you have all your calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, uh, the pH, everything is set perfect so you don't have to add any supplements to your tank which ends up being costly on the long run. So this is your basic setup um, for all you guys who want to set up reef tanks. You got your tank, lighting, protein skimmer, and a sump if you want. Um, I say stay away from canister filters. Reason why is because um, canister filters collect so much junk and uh, let's just say you're going off a vacation for about one two weeks and that canister collects so much uh, nitrates and phosphates. Um, it's going to collect everything and once it reaches its max load, it's going to shoot out back inside your tank and which is a bad thing because when you come back, you're going to have green algae all over your tank and you really don't want that. So the water is almost uh, three quarters of the way done, 60% uh, of the way average. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. Um, post a video in about a week and showing you guys uh, the ammonia stage, the nitrite, uh, the pH balances and how the system is running. Um, adding in the sump, we're going to add uh, macroalgae, which is um, the chato algae. You don't want to go ahead with any other type because what happens is, again, if you have light that turns off, you don't want the algae to go asexual and start reproducing all over your system. So that's a big no-no. Um, just in the sump, I build a little white mesh here. 
Uh, this is uh, your lighting mesh. Again, it's removable. Take it right out. Clean it out if you need. And it can put it back in. Uh, there's no sumps in the market that do this right now. And if you guys want to make custom suns, sumps, give me a call. Let me know. Uh, write to me. We can definitely figure out a quotation for you. Um, average, if you look in the market, this size sump, you're looking closely and easily about 550 plus shipping on this. So, again, saltwater reef tank, 72 gallons. Stay tuned for video two. This video is on how to set up a saltwater reef tank. If you guys have any comments, questions, uh, rate, subscribe, like below, and I'll respond back to your video as soon as possible. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.